it's no walk in the park, but life is better for these two when they're working as a team. Megan Turnbull has had four guide dogs in the last 22 years, and with her current companion, Oban, she's able to enjoy the freedom others take for granted. He guides me to and from work and um, everywhere that I want to go to, um, you know, in between those times. So if I'm going to the pool or Pilates or the library or the movies or out for dinner, whatever it is that I'm doing, then he will be on duty guiding me there. Turnbull says puppy carers are an essential part of the guide dog service. She says the job can be a hard one, but also highly rewarding. And life for blind people would be much harder without those who are involved early in the process. The job of the puppy walker is really, really important um, because they're the people that socialise the dogs and get them used to lots of different environments and experiences. So I've um, always been really, really grateful to the puppy walkers that have um, had my dogs. But the Blind Foundation needs more Dunedin residents to put their hands up and register as carers. About 120 guide dog puppies are bred each year and they require lots of love and attention. So there's some criteria involved when it comes to selecting carers because as Turnbull says, it's not a job to be taken lightly. They're the ones that put in all the hard yards, really, of training the dog to have good behaviour, um, you know, taking them round different places, getting them used to being on buses or at the supermarket or in noisy malls. Turnbull and Oban are likely to be together for at least another few years before he takes retirement. And in the meantime, she hopes some of her fellow Dunedinites will take up the call to socialise the next generation of guide dogs. So life as a blind person can be that much closer to a walk in the park. Rosie Mannins, 39, Dunedin News.